What's up, Bless Squad? It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video. And in today's video, your girl is going to be doing the long awaited hygiene routine. Well, updated hygiene routine. I have a lot of hygiene routines um on my channel but like i just haven't done one in forever and i've been getting a lot of emails from you guys like girl can you please do an updated hygiene routine and so that's what i'm gonna be doing today so first let me just say i got a lot of dirty laundry in the back i didn't really feel like making my bed up so my background ain't even that cute but you know what i am doing my laundry today so please don't judge me that would be really funny if the next video it was even more laundry and i didn't end up doing my laundry but i am going to get my laundry done today I hope. I'm just playing. I gotta get it done. I don't like piled up laundry. I really don't. It's like one of my pet peeves. Let me also say that I don't do this hygiene routine like every single day. Like this would be crazy if I did this like every single day. But um, I do this routine about like every other day or every two days because this routine has like shaving and stuff in it and I don't shave every single day. So it's about like every other day or every two days. But obviously I clean my body every single day. I do this very often and this is like the hygiene routine that really gets me clean and like smelling good like thoroughly clean like for real for real clean that i'll be getting bomb clean so if you want to know how to get your body thoroughly clean get your body smelling bomb keep on watching this video because y'all already know your girl is about the hygiene i actually did this hygiene routine today so i'm fresh out the shower i'm smelling bomb smelling good smelling good so basically the first thing that i do when i hop into the shower is i get started on my hair care so that's basically like the shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that but i'm really picky with how i do my hair care so i'm not going to be going over that in this video but i do have the link in the description for the video that i made all about my hair so if you want to know how to get your hair to smell like super bomb and get it squeaky clean smelling right looking right go ahead and click that link in the description click that link in the description and you will learn all about the hair care so yeah that is the first thing that I like to do when I hop into the shower is get started on my hair but like I said a million times the video is in the description so after I get done with my hair care I like to go ahead and start cleaning my body now this is so important because if you do not clean your body the right way the odors will creep up way faster because you didn't get rid of all of the odor so basically what I like to do is I like to use my exfoliating washcloth my washcloth is actually wet right now in the shower my exfoliating one so I don't want to bring that out and have it dripping wet everywhere I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys like a brand new one if you do not know what exfoliating washcloth is it's basically like this long washcloth that just scrubs your skin so good it's like really abrasive and like rough on your skin like that sounds bad but it actually is good because it just scrubs the dirt off of your skin it gets rid of dead skin it be having your skin glowing i like to buy mine from target this is what it looks like it just says let spa on it i bought it from target i love these they are amazing my favorite ones are from target we all know what dove white bar soap looks like but i just thought i would go ahead and show you guys just in case you don't know what it looks like so i go ahead and i get my little exfoliating washcloth i get my bar soap and i put my bar soap like inside of my uh, washcloth and I start to go back and forth with it kind of like a rag like let me show you like let's say this was the exfoliating washcloth I go ahead and I get my bar soap I put it in between the exfoliating washcloth and I start to go back and forth with it until it's like super soapy like don't just boop, 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 and then you're done no I like to go at it for about 30 seconds till it's like dripping soap like where there's a lot of soap on it because I love for my body to have like a bunch of soap like I love for it to be super soapy and sudsy I just love that so I go ahead and I do that I get my little bar soap I really do suggest dough Dove bar soap dove bar soap is so moisturizing and amazing i love dove bar soap it also gets your body smelling so right when i tell you your body will smell so good after you get done using dove so after i get done getting my exfoliating washcloth all soapy and i only do this once because exfoliating washcloths are very like rough or whatever so you don't want to do it too many times to where you're like irritating your skin so i do this once so i go ahead and i get my soapy exfoliating washcloth and i start to just scrub my whole entire body like i mean scrub your elbows scrub your neck scrub behind them ears scrub everything and really focus on those parts that need exfoliation like parts for me are my elbows my shoulders and my knees so i always focus on those three things also your neck do not forget your neck your neck has to be clean baby you can't just keep applying perfume and you ain't cleaning and scrubbing your neck you gotta clean your neck and the back of your neck so after you get done scrubbing yourself up with that exfoliating washcloth now you want to go ahead and get your regular washcloth and get whatever body wash you are using personally the reason why i love to do bar soap first is because bar soap really gets me clean like bar soap is like the only thing that's going to get you like really Really thoroughly clean so basically after you get done thoroughly cleaning your body then you want to go ahead and get like the smell good stuff that also cleans your body but just not as good as the bar soap but you want to get like your little smell goods or whatever and then start cleaning your body on the washcloth so basically I have here 
a Bath and Body Works um, Velvet Sugar Body Wash. When I tell you guys, Bath and Body Works never fails me with their body washes. I'm telling you guys, they always smell super good. They be having your skin smelling bomb. I promise you guys, like I smell so good right now. So I also have this Dove Gentle Exfoliating Body Wash that I also love. I use all different type of body washes if you guys did not know. Like I have all body washes from Dove to Caress to Dial to Aveeno, Irish Spring. Like I have all body washes. But my favorites, if you guys want to know my favorite body washes, they are the Dove Body Washes and the Bath and Body Works Body Washes and I like to use them together. This right here is my favorite body wash by Dove. It is like the gentle exfoliating one. It's just like the scent gets me like I just love the scent of this body wash. Dove is like one of the body washes that will really get you smelling good. Like when I tell you guys like I don't know what I would do without Dove Body Washes because these really play have a big role in my hygiene game. Like I'm not even joking with you guys. Like this is really how I get to smelling good with Dove and like Bath and Body Works and stuff like that but like mainly Dove. Dove products get me right but anyway let me stop rambling so basically i get my washcloth and i go ahead and get my dub body wash first and i just get it all over the washcloth do the same thing like we did with the bar soap and you just rub it back and forth like this like so and then you want to go ahead and scrub your whole body and when i say like when you're scrubbing your body like i don't mean like a little bit of soap like i don't mean like oh you see a few bubbles on your arm or whatever like i'm talking about when you scrub like your whole arm looks white from the soap like it looks soapy like your skin has to be soapy that is the only way i have found that i smell fresh when i get out of the shower and like for the whole entire day when i really scrub also you guys please i forgot to mention this with the exfoliating washcloth please focus on your underarms as well your underarms really need to be cleaned because let me tell you something deodorant really does build up if you don't clean your armpits all the way you have to feel your armpits like when you get your little washcloth or whatever and you get your body wash on it you want to go ahead and you want to scrub your armpits that's the first thing that i like to focus on when i get my washcloth and my exfoliating washcloth i like to focus on my armpits first once i rinse them off i like to feel if they're like squeaky like that silicone squeaky if they're like silicone squeaky you want to go ahead and keep scrubbing them because scrubbing them because deodorant has silicone in it so you know like when you feel it and you feel like silicone deodorant like feel you want to go ahead and keep cleaning yourself because you're not done because if you let that deodorant pile up your armpits will be rank a tank every Every single time you go to run or do anything your deodorants will I mean your armpits will stink and I know because I've been through it so you have to consistently wash your armpits but anyway like I was saying you want to go ahead and get your Dove body wash first I like to go ahead and get it all of my washcloth or whatever body wash you're using I just really suggest Dove and you want to go ahead and clean your whole entire body baby I'm talking about your whole body everything like I told you on your neck behind your ears everything your toes everything we should all know how to just move a rag around our body and you just want to go ahead and do it for a while like I don't like to to just scrub 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 and be done I like to actually keep going over my body I like to keep going over my body keep going over my body then I go ahead and rinse off after I get done rinsing off my last cleaning process for my body is the Bath and Body Works shower gel so I go ahead and get my little shower gel or whatever put it all over the washcloth make sure that you're rinsing your washcloth before you go ahead and apply more products to it you want to go ahead and thoroughly rinse it off and thoroughly rinse off your body then apply your little smell good shower gel or whatever put it all over your washcloth and get to scrubbing baby get to scrubbing now I'm not even gonna sit up here and be like girl you have to scrub your body three times because you don't have to do it three times you can do it twice you'll be straight with two times I just don't really suggest once because I don't feel like you really get clean with one the second time is when you really get to get all the access dirt that you didn't get on the first clean see so yeah, this is just what I like to do because I'm like oh my gosh like when I tell you my hygiene like it's so important to me I like to smell good from the head to the toe like if somebody goes to hug me like my neck better smell straight my armpits better be smelling good so I'm not gonna be getting into detail about the butt hygiene today because I want to make a separate video on this but like yeah my behind area has to be smelling straight like everything behind there has to be smelling good so please keep a lookout for that video because I will be dropping that video very soon on how to clean your butt the right way and how to thoroughly clean it so that there's no odor and it no odor will be creeping up for the whole entire day and speaking of like your behind area that's what I do after I get done cleaning up my body I forgot to mention that you don't have to clean your butt while you're cleaning your body you do that like after you get done thoroughly cleaning your body then you move on to the butt area because I feel like the butt area is its own little area that you have to like give its own time and clean it in its own way so now that we have exfoliated the body with the exfoliating washcloth and deep cleaned the body like three different times we have scrubbed the body down with the bar soap the dove body wash and the bath and body works body wash you don't have to use what i'm using you guys you can use whatever you have even if you just have bar soap just go ahead and clean yourself up like two or three times and you'll be straight you don't have to do what i'm doing you can just clean yourself up three different times and call it a day now it is time to go ahead and start shaving your body baby shave it up oh shave it up shave it up baby baby shave it up i don't 
don't care if it's winter time or not personally i'm just a shaving girl like i like to shave myself i don't care what weather it is back in the day i did used to shave um in the winter time i used to be like man screw it right like who wants to do that but i cringe when i am when i'm applying my lotion on my legs or anything and i can feel my hair on my legs like i'm just like i want to feel a smooth body a smooth surface while i'm applying my lotion so that's just how i am so yeah i just go ahead and get whatever shaving cream that i'm using like this is an eos i haven't actually used this in forever i only use this once like i bought this in the summertime never used it only used it once this right here is what it looks like you guys it actually smells super super good this is a shaving cream i also love the shaving the shaving foams so yeah just go ahead and apply a little shaving cream all over your legs i like to get a good amount on because i found that you can get a smoother shave and like you can get less cuts if you put a lot of shaving cream on so i like to pump a lot or like squirt a lot whatever i'm using and i like to just Oops, and I like to just smooth it all over my whole entire legs because I do shave my legs first and please you guys do not shave fast take your time go ahead and just go slow because girl I recently I actually did this the other day yesterday actually yeah I got like a little cut back here like on my ankle because I wanted to be fast with it I wanted to go ahead and just go go but baby no you cannot do that you got to be very slow when you're going up especially around your ankle because in your knee because those are the parts that really do get cut easily so after I get done shaving my legs I like to go ahead and shave my armpit so I go like from the bottom like real slow in like three different strokes and then what the heck a piece of hair and then I go from the side like twice and then I go down like three times so that I'm getting it from every single angle I even go like that way so I go like four different angles to make sure that I don't care what way the hair is growing I've gotten every single angle so that they're smooth and so that you don't feel any pricklies shaving is honestly super simple as long as you are going slow then you will not cut yourself and you will not harm yourself as long as you are taking your time now as far as your downstairs area goes don't let nobody tell you that you have to shave your downstairs area don't let nobody tell you that because you have hair down there is why odors creep up I used to honestly think that I have mentioned that in my past videos but that is honestly not true it's all about how you clean yourself and how you take care of yourself but let me tell you something you don't really have to focus on that like in your downstairs area like girl don't be trying to focus on that uh, let me tell you something I'm just gonna tell you the truth I'm just gonna tell you the whole, the whole entire truth I'm just gonna be real real with you from sister to sister okay here we go so when I was in like school or whatever all the girls were focused on shaving their downstairs area they would post about it all this different stuff about their downstairs area blah, blah 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 but really it was because those girls were sexually active and that's the only reason why they were so focused on having a shaved downstairs area you do not need to be focusing on that let me tell you, you do not need to be focusing on that. That's the last thing you need to be focusing on. So, if you are uncomfortable with shaving your downstairs area, do not do it. Or, if your mom says you are not allowed to do that yet, do not do it. Follow what your mom tells you. Follow what your mom says. I'm, I don't focus on that type of stuff because, well, I don't focus on that stuff anymore. But, like, back in the day, I used to because I used to feel bad because all the other girls were shaving their downstairs areas and they always talked about it and all this different stuff. And they would call girls nasty if they didn't do it. But, I'm going to just tell you the truth. We're going to be real here. That's not true you're not nasty and there may be people taking offense by me saying that most of the girls are sexually active that shave their downstairs area now i'm not saying every single one of the girls that are shaving are sexually active or that they are doing that for that reason but i am saying that that is mostly why the girls are doing it and i'm not saying just because you shave your downstairs area you're worried about that that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying that is mostly why a lot of girls do it and that's just the truth that's just facts now if you want to shave just because you want to shave because it makes you feel more clean then do what you got to do that's something that you like to do and i can't say i blame you because it does feel like a little bit more clean but I'm just letting you guys know because I do have a lot of young girls watching me and a lot of girls that are like debating whether or not they should do it or some girls that are like debating whether or not they should even go lose their virginity and I'm saying from my point of view, from like the Bible's point of view, from the Lord's point of view, no, don't do it unless you are married now we are not here to judge anybody that is that or may be sexually active or has been sexually active in the past because jesus is a forgiving god and we are not here to judge i have no right to judge that has nothing to do with me nor anybody else so do not feel insecure about that because i'm not throwing shade at anybody that has done that trust me i understand like the pure pressure that comes with sex it's not always easy to just be strong and like turn it down and have integrity and sometimes females just don't love themselves enough to say no but like i'm saying for like my young girls out there that are debating on it or whatever if they should do it i 
say no because just wait till you're married because number one when you're married you know that ain't nobody had you but your husband you ain't got to worry about feeling insecure because you gave it to all these different people and you're going to regret it you don't have to worry about no dude going around telling people that he didn't he did this with you and he did that with you like no you could feel more secure in yourself because you know that you are a virgin you have kept yourself here. I'm just here to tell my subscribers the truth. I am a Christian young lady and I read my Bible and I base everything off of what the Lord wants me to do in the Bible. And I also am trying to make it to heaven. I do not want to go to hell. I do not want to I do not want to burn eternally and I do not want to live for the devil. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell um all women or young ladies that are watching my channel I do not suggest going out there and doing things like that. I do not suggest to go out there and fornicate. I do not suggest any of that because Number one, you will not feel good about it. It will only make you more insecure. And let me tell you something also. That little boy that's trying to get you to drop your pants or whatever, he ain't going to be there forever. And a real man's not going to want you to drop your pants. A real man don't want that. He wants to know about your mind. He wants to know about your feelings. He want to know about you. He doesn't worry about what you got going on downstairs. He's not worried about that. He just wants to know about you because he loves you for who you are. He wants to know what makes you happy. He wants to know what makes you sad. He wants to know what makes you, I don't know, smile and excited stuff like that he doesn't care about lust he's gonna want to grow with you and read the bible with you and get to know who you are because he is a real man and a man of god and once you are strong and you let people know your boundaries and you let people know i am not that kind of girl you have mistaken you got the wrong one baby i'm not like that I am the daughter of Christ, like I am not going for that. You will have so much respect. Like I have an example, like when I was in school and stuff like that, I was really cool with like the dudes, like we were like friends, we were like really, really cool and they never came at me no type of way because they knew I was not like that. They knew they had no chance to ever do that so they just had respect for me. They treated me like, you know, a friend, like a really cool friend. They didn't treat me like, hey girl, what you got going on? You looking good, ooh, mm, mm. No, it wasn't nothing like that because I had respect and I gained my respect and I earned my respect. The problem is a lot of females say that they want respect but they don't want to do what it takes to have respect. It's not easy to earn respect. It's not easy, but you have to have integrity and you have to be strong and you have to know your worth and love yourself. And as the Bible says, you cannot give in to the evil desires of this world because once you do that, you are working for the devil. The devil's got a grip on you. He's got you. But anyway, let me stop with all that rambling. That literally all came off of shaving, but it is true. I'm just gonna share it with my young ladies. But anyway, let's keep on going. So after I get done shaving, I always love to exfoliate my body again with the sugar scrub from Shea Tree Hut. What? The sugar scrub from Tree Hut. This is honestly my favorite sugar scrub by Tree Hut. It is the Tahitian Vanilla Bean. This right here is literally one of their best scents. I promise you guys, they sell this at Walmart. It smells so good, Tahitian Vanilla Bean. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. So if you know me, you know that your girl is so big on scrubbing her body. So yes, I do scrub twice. So after I get in shaving, I just love to go ahead and like scrub again because my body would just be like super soft and silky and smooth and when i go to apply my lotion it's just so smooth and it glows naturally so i like to go ahead and exfoliate my whole entire body with this my shoulders my arms my chest my legs my feet even my hands you want to also exfoliate your hands i do suggest though while you're using the body scrub before you go ahead and apply it to any part of your body Get the water off of your body kind of so that you kind of get like a dry scrub. Not like a dry scrub, but you get more of like an exfoliation to your skin. Because once the water hits that sugar scrub, the sugar kind of dissolves and it just doesn't become as rough and abrasive as it can be. So I always just scrape the water off my leg, my arm, my chest, whatever I'm going to be using it on. I just go ahead and just scrape the water off, kind of like push the water off of my body. <laughs> And then I begin to go ahead and scrub. And Tree Hut has like the best sugar scrub. So if you're looking for like a really good like sugar scrub or body scrub, Tree Hut is the way to go. And they be having you smelling good and they be having you moisturized. I then go ahead and start to scrub my feet. This is a foot pumice. It's broken half. I got it at a beauty supply store. They sell it at beauty supply stores. If you guys did not know, just go to the foot section and you'll be straight. And this is just like a pumice or whatever. I like to use this like every other day or every two days just to keep my foot soft and like my heels and stuff like that. So yeah, just go ahead and 
can use this um i like to use it with like no product on it because i feel like it gives you a better scrub and then after i get done scrubbing my feet with like nothing then i go ahead and like put some dove body wash on this and then i get to scrubbing with the dove body wash you also want to make sure that you're scrubbing your feet with the washcloth get some dove soap or whatever body wash or whatever soap you're using and scrub in between those toes scrub them heels scrub your feet so that your feet ain't stank all right and then i like to go ahead and scrub my back with my back brush <clears throat> i've only used this back brush twice and i cannot believe how good it works like it's already improving my back acne you guys i'm so excited so i like to go ahead and use this with like a dove soap or my acne dough and it just smells like cinnamon it has salicylic acid in it it gets like super super soapy i love it and then i also love to use my dove on my back as well so i just switch up with these sometimes i mix them and they both just get my back like super clean all right so here's what it looks like it just says acne dough on it um it's by elba botanica but for the longest i was using like this automatic back brush my mom got it for me on amazon and it basically just spins like that but it doesn't work as good as like the manual one because i get to actually scrub at my pace and like at my strength like i can actually scrub my back like scrub it scrub it this right here likes to stop on you it doesn't really go um as far as this body uh body brush does i mean this back brush does so this does not work as good as the manual one and this one was cheaper my mom spent good money on this too and then last but not least inside of the shower i go ahead and i start to clean my downstairs area my favorite thing to clean my downstairs area is baby dove for like three days when i was using it like the first like no i don't want to say the first three days but like the second week of me using it for like three days it was irritating me i don't know what it was but it was only for three days and it hasn't irritated me ever before like i've been through this is like my third bottle of this stuff and it works so good like so it doesn't irritate me it had for three days so i went ahead and bought like a new feminine wash on amazon healthy hoo hoo i showed you guys that in a recent video and it doesn't work good it irritated me so bad you guys it does not work that good neither does it like get me like clean clean like the only thing that works for me when my downstairs area is this baby dove so this right here is what the bottle looks like it is a little bit pricey this was about seven bucks and i just love it though like it just works so good like nothing works as good as this for me for my downstairs area yeah it's like a very light soapy smell it just smells super good so yeah it is the baby dove tip to toe wash so basically i get two pumps of this only two because this soap is so thick that you don't need that much soap so i get two pumps of this i put it on my baby washcloth i only use baby washcloths to clean my downstairs area because i feel like they're not rough and they don't put like little micro cuts and they don't like irritate me and stuff like that because the washcloths are just way too harsh for my downstairs area they just are so yeah i get two pumps of this put it on my baby washcloth i like prop my leg up on the side of the shower because you gotta get in between those those creases baby you can't miss out on not one crease so Please do not clean the actual vagina part. The actual vagina is the hole. I'm just going to explain this to you guys because I used to I used to think that people were like, don't clean the inside, but they were talking about the actual hole, not like the lips and stuff like that. So you want to go ahead and you do like clean the inside, just not the hole, but you do clean the inside and you go ahead and you just scrub, 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 make sure that you're cleaning everything, the outside, the inside, just not the hole. Once again, just not the hole, but the whole part you do want to clean with water. A lot of people say don't use anything, but personally, I like to use water but that's just personal preference so yeah i clean myself clean myself clean myself scrub 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 get in there y'all scrub yourself now after you get done rinsing off all the soap down in your lady parts or whatever now you want to go ahead and get one pump of soap with your hand get it in there get it real soapy and leave it leave it for about just like one minute not too long just like one minute leave it down there to sit so that the soap is just like attacking any like odors or any grimy stuff or anything that you got down there the soap is getting at it it's soaking just like if you gotta like soak a pan with some with some soap and some water or whatever that's what you're doing that's another reason why you gotta take baths and stuff like that like i've said it in my past videos like baths are really good like you gotta soak your stuff for real but in the shower that's what i like to do i like to go ahead and get one pump of this and I just go ahead and I just get down there on my hands, not too long. Just get it so that it's down there. Avoid the whole area. I let it, I let it sit down there for a one minute and then I rinse it out so that that soap has sat in there and like soaked a little bit in there. And I rinse it out and I'm straight and I'm clean and I hop out the shower. My body is clean. Everything is clean. I hop out the shower, dry myself off and get started with my after shower hygiene routine. I have a whole video on this, but I'm going to go over it again in this video. So as soon as I hop out the shower and I dry myself off, I like to immediately start to spray my body with a body spray i don't jump into putting on the lotion i jump into putting on the body spray all over my body like i like to just baby when i tell you your girl likes to spray it everywhere on your legs on your chest on your neck everywhere baby everywhere 
you got to really spray you gotta spray and then you go ahead and apply your lotion like the matching lotion if you do not have a matching lotion that's all right use whatever lotion you got because you've got to stay moisturized so i get my little lotion or whatever this is the matching one. Oh, i forgot to tell you guys this is the velvet sugar body spray this is what the bottle looks like it's super cute this has been one of my favorite scents since sixth grade and this is the matching lotion. This is what the lotion looks like, you guys. It is one of the sweetest, beautiful scents. Like, oh my gosh, when I tell you guys, it's so sweet and beautiful. And it really does last. So I go ahead and I get my lotion. I like to go ahead and put a lot on and apply it all over my body. So that my body is like soaked with lotion. Like, feeling good and like drenched with some lotion. Then I go ahead, spray some more body spray. I'm spraying more body spray, bruh. You have to spray it all over again. Again, baby. Again, you spray it again, again. And then I go ahead and I go in with the body lotion again. My mama taught me how to do this. My mama taught me to layer your scent so that it'll last. If you layer it, it will last. So. I go ahead and apply more lotion again. Get my body lotioned up again. And then I go in with my Amazon perfume oils. This is my favorite thing ever. Like, Amazon has beautiful perfume oils. This is the Chloe perfume oil. And this right here is what it looks like, you guys. It is so beautiful. Like, when I tell you guys, they are a little bit pricey, but they are so worth it. I think this right here was like 10 or like 15 bucks or whatever. And they are literally so strong. Like, they be having your body smell super strong. Like, my skin smells super good you guys because of this oil and because of the layering and stuff like that like my skin smells super good like i can really smell this perfume oil this perfume oil i got off of amazon now if you do not have perfume oil that's okay you just layer your scents and call it a day but this is just something that i like to do like an extra little hygienic thing to do so i just like to apply that all over my body as well and then i go ahead and spray more body spray baby i spray more body spray baby you already know i love my body spray oh my gosh y'all i spray more body spray because when I tell you guys, you gotta smell good for the whole entire day. You can't just be, can't be lacking, especially if you're in school. If you're in school, you cannot be lacking. At this point, I'm not even dressed. I just piled a bunch of stuff on my body so that my body smells good. Then I go ahead and put whatever outfit that I am gonna put on. I go ahead and I put my outfit on. I apply my deodorant, and the only deodorants that I like to use are Dove deodorants. Dove deodorants are the bomb. I also like some of, um, was it Secret or Suave? I'm not even gonna say because I don't know which one it was, but I do love Dove deodorants. My favorite Dove deodorant out of all all dub deodorants is the cucumber one it doesn't actually say the scent but it is the cucumber one but yeah this is my favorite dub deodorant and my thing is i don't scrimp with deodorant i go like this for like forever like i apply so much deodorant when i tell you i apply so much because i don't have time to be stinking i don't have time to be smelling musty or anything like that i don't have time for that the odors can't even come past it because my deodorant is very coated on my armpits and last but not least out of this whole entire hygiene routine I go ahead and I spray my perfume. Now, I forgot to mention that I do spray a lot of body spray. Like, I spray so much body spray. Like, I don't just spray a few times on my clothes and call it a day. I spray a lot of body spray on my clothes. And then I also like to spray a lot of perfume. So, this is a Victoria's Secret Crush perfume. Victoria's Secret perfumes are amazing because they really do last. But you can go ahead and use any perfume that you have or, like, that you like. And even if you don't have perfumes, the body sprays will still get you right. Like, I promise you guys, like... I still, like, even back in the day when I was using my body sprays or whatever, just my body sprays, I was still smelling bomb. I still got compliments about smelling good. You can get smelling bomb and beyond with the body sprays. But, yeah, then I go ahead and just get my little perfume or whatever. This is just my hygiene routine. I'm just sharing that with you guys because y'all be wanting to know. But, yeah, love it. Love my perfume, you guys. This one actually is, like, a very light perfume, which I don't really like about it. But it smells good, so... I like the strong perfumes, y'all. Y'all know how I am. So, yeah, that is basically my whole entire hygiene routine. That is everything that I have to go ahead and share with you guys. If you want to smell bomb and smell, like, really strong or whatever, when you step out, you step out. If you want to smell, like, step out, I'm just kidding, <laughs> then you want to go ahead and follow this hygiene routine or whatever because I be smelling bomb since, like, Smelling bomb, smelling bomb. Like, if I want to go give you a hug right now, like, sis, I'm smelling bomb. I'm so sorry, you guys. My camera is overheating right now, so your girl really does have to head out because it's just going to keep stopping. I love you guys. God bless every single one of you guys in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. God bless you. Love you. Stay safe and stay praising Jesus. I'm going to give y'all a little hug. Smell me. Smell me. I'm just playing. <laughs> Bye, y'all.